if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're asking how best do we deal with unhealthy situations in um, a relationship, you know. Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 And we'll open our phone lines. For you that is calling, please turn off the volume of your television set and try to keep your conversation, like your contribution, within a minute. So help us um, get in more callers. All right, so ladies, um, you know, I am very worried for the woman. Right, because that write up that um, I read about her talking, how she's in a warfare and how she's, you know, she's, um, she's this, she's that, and dealing with self esteem, obsession, comparison. Does this not tell you that fundamentally already this relationship is actually very, very, um, it's not a balanced relationship? Because I believe that before you can go into a relationship with somebody else, you need to find yourself, you need to know who you are. You know, so that some things will not influence you. You understand? You must find yourself. You must know who you are. I mean, we all make mistakes. Nobody is a saint. You understand? I have made my mistakes in my marriage. My husband has made his own mistakes in, in his marriage. But, you know, now bringing all of these things and now putting it on social media is what I do not get. Is it that we have just completely lost, you know, who we are and everything now is just for the gram and everything is just for the fame or for the, or for the what's it called, for the hype and all of that? Because guess what? No matter how hot this situation is, give it another one week max. And this is me being generous. It will die down. But at the end of the day, they say the internet never forgets. All of these things will still be there. So how would you want to deal with it? Because now you're putting up a front. Why can't we just come out to say, you know what? The woman will say, I am really hurt. I'm really broken. Right? I don't know how I'm going to deal with this, but I, I hope I'll be able to find it. Because I, am, I have been in situations where 14 years down, the line, I'll be 15 years in marriage this year. I know that there are some things that are still lingering in my head. So you can't just wake up overnight and say, oh, I've been healed. It doesn't work that way. So where is the part now? I want to bring in the part of religious leaders, right? Helping when it comes to real, solving real problems in marriages. Because that's where you don't hear a situation where somebody commits a, um, suicide or the person goes to kill the spouse, you know, out of rage and all of that. Because you did not face the situation, you did not deal with the situation. Mori, you wanted to come in. First of all, I'm going to say that this is why I don't have a favorite religious leader. Not that I don't listen to them. You know, when I see that they drop like meaningful, helpful quotes, you know, I, I digest the quotes and I listen to it. But it is that like you like you stated earlier, it is very, very important to know yourself. I, I like to consider myself as somebody who is very, very forgiving. Like there's almost nothing that I can't forgive. But it's not at the detriment of myself because, because I so much love myself. Hey. Like, I so much enjoy my company. I love myself. I don't mind being alone for, you know, as long as... Do you understand? Yeah. So I think that it's very, very important to know yourself, to love yourself, to know yourself. If, if you come and say, Mori, you are beautiful, I'll first say, I know, before I say thank you. Mm. I, I'm not going to reject a compliment. I know my words. I, I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I, I know. You cannot... It's not you that will tell me all these things. I've already found it, but thank you for telling me. Thank mm. you for being kind. Mm. It does make me feel better. But what I'm just trying to say is I already know, you know, what that, and that's why I feel like I'm not going to hold the hand of somebody who's confessing that they've cheated multiple times. It's a, it is I did it. I've been with multiple women. I, are you mad? I'm sorry, can I say that on TV? <laughs> hey, Held the hand with eyebrow like there's no remorse whatsoever. Also, mind you, you were saying something about how why are we bringing it on the internet? If it was not that you know people were threatening him and the scandal was dropping, he would still be the perfect man that everybody thinks he is. Hmm. You know, dropping quotes, dropping gems, and, and it shows you that you know this man that says all these things. So you know how to treat a woman right. You know. The bad things not to do to a woman. So you, you know, some people don't even know. Some people are ignorant. They are badly behaved. So for you to have been teaching all these teachings, you know it, and then you went ahead and did it to the woman, hmm. and then blamed it on the devil. And now you are saying Jesus has taken over without allowing the woman heal. Hmm. You have to be Jennifer. <laughs> this last statement, uh, Murray just made. I'm just going to say he is wicked. And anybody who, be it male or female, 
and you're probably doing something like this right now i'm just here to tell you in case you have not heard it before but in case you've also heard it before let me add to it you are what wicked because it is only wickedness it's only wicked people that can do these things to you you know when people call the devil oh you do um something bad happens to you you say it is the devil uh you're equivalent to the devil because you can't be teaching something out there trying to better other people's lives and the person who you call your partner you're being terrible to them and i i, I don't know what a woman is going through and i feel really really bad for her and any other person who has found themselves in this kind of situation the only advice i can give to you right now is to actually seek therapy help yeah. i Let know me take... i know that um, Sorry, a lot of nigerians Jennifer. probably do not appreciate therapists but you need to seek therapy. It Absolutely. is very important. Jennifer, let me quickly take a call from Richard. Thank you so much for calling, Richard. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Let's hear what you have to say. Yes, uh, I think uh, what he's trying to do is uh, damage control. But, but there are times that you don't even need to do what is called damage control. That guy is going to, that guy is going to do that over and over again. He won't stop. But what he's going to do now is that he's going to be trying to be smart at this time so that it doesn't come as slowly on him and his next time. I think the best way things like this are how to handle this, when you've made a mistake, you don't need to do this charade of trying to make everybody look at, look at the way they're holding themselves. Are you trying to, if you see her face, you know that this lady is going through a lot. She hasn't healed yet. You're just trying to save your face because of the career or whatever personality you have. Which, and this lady is He's still going to go to depression. I think for me, the most important person that should be taken care of is that lady to get through the trauma. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I you know you. for a situation like this, I would have thought that it would have been best handled within just the both of them, like, you know, quietly in the in the comfort of their home, privately. In the place where the man ha actually has sense. Like, like, because crazy. for me, I, I, I would not carry my 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 drama and put it on social media because if something like this happened first of all i would know that there's a gap in my home there's there's a, there's there's something that has gone wrong you know so instead of trying to bring it out there because who are you trying to please for goodness sake online who are you trying to please these people do not care about you social media they are just there for the gist so they want to hear the gist and they move on but every time that damage is still on you because you see you think you're okay but you're now in the quietness of your, your room, you're in, alone in your bed, you can't even, you, you, you just break down and you, you'll be crying. So would the social media be there? So are you doing it for the comments, for the likes, for the views, or what exactly are you doing it for? You know, so if you are in an, if you are in an unhealthy relationship, the first thing for you to do, like, I like what um, Jennifer said, you must go and seek help, right? You must come out of that situation, go to a quiet place and seek help. You do not come out and say that is the time where you don't want to carry your matter and you go on social media and do what's there. But we have a comment, Jennifer. Let me take mine first. It says, what drives everything we do to the social media? What drives it? I, that's what I, well, it's the same thing I'm just saying now. That it, well, maybe we're doing it for the likes and for the whatever, for the following. And maybe at the end of the day, eventually, maybe this is where he makes his money from, from social media. So he wants to make money. And definitely that's what he would use to, you know, <laughs> because I don't know why I would take my matter to social media. But Jennifer, you have a comment. Okay, so the comment says, can we possibly assume that the social media validation of forgiveness is more important to us? than the one we get privately from the ones we hurt or those concerned. Where do we really stand on this today? Hmm. The, the, the thing is, a lot of people live for social media. They live for other people. Hmm. And the thing is, if you don't know yourself, you don't know your self-worth, or you're not self-aware, you would easily be bamboozled by what you see online or what people say about you. Half the time, people would define you for you. I watched a YouTube um, video of somebody I know online, and then she was saying how it was when she got to her 27 years, when she clocked 27, that she realized that she has actually been living for people. She had been doing things because people said so. So somebody comes to her and suggests something, and then she does it. So she had not actually taken time out to question 
those actions to question if that is what is best for her or not. It was after a while when she realized that she was going through something, then she took time off social media, took time off a lot of people, even her close friends and family, and she was alone by herself. And she did an introspection, and then she was like, oh, I have missed it in the last how many years, and I think it is time for me to get it right. Mm. You need to know yourself. You need to know your weaknesses. You need to know your strengths. You need to know what you can do and what you can't do. You need to know what you can take and what you cannot take. Do not let other people define you, be it your father, your mother, your pastor, your husband, your wife, whoever it is that is close to you, they should not define you. We are all different and we have a different purpose on earth. Maybe yes, you need other people to fulfill your purpose, but doesn't necessarily mean that you have to live your life for them. We are different and that's why God created us. So we all need to realize this and need to align our path and our thinking to that direction. Hmm. You know, what you just said now, I'm just looking at it that, you know, where do we draw the line with this social media? You know, Maury, you're the social media person. Please, where do we draw the line? Because I think we've gotten to that point where, you know, everybody seems to use the, um, to benchmark whether they are successful or whether they're doing well and all of that through the compass of the social media. The only, it is when social media says, I am, I am important, that I am important, you know. It is when social media says that I am, uh, that I have content, that I have content. Nobody is actually separating themselves now. Everybody wants to just make sure that they blow. And you would see and always consistently find people trying to do things just to trend so that they can use that avenue to be able to, you know, cl claim that, oh, yes, they are now successful, right? Because even with marriages relationships it's not everything i tell people i have seen relationships that oh it looks so perfect on social media but the, in in the in the comfort of their homes it is absolute zero they don't even interact they just do the, the things on the ground so where do we draw the line maury well when when you say where do we draw the line it all boils down to knowing yourself like i stated earlier on you know and also um, um knowing your worth knowing what you're comfortable with putting out there. Like for instance, now I'm a content creator and make a living off of it. But whatever I show you on the internet is a fraction of what I'm what I'm going through, you know, in real life. I came here now to say that I've had 10 hours of traffic. But if you look on my on my on my post now, you will only see the fine pictures and everybody <laughs> dropping fire comments. Not know that I've I've almost collapsed inside traffic with a toddler today. Mm. You know, so I will put a picture of me and Pfizer and everybody will be like, oh my God, cute, oh my God, cute, oh my God, cute. So that's why, because I know the reality of things, you cannot just choose to believe everything that you see on the internet. Mm. See, well, I like you now. On the, I, I, I think that you are a very good person to look up to, mm. for instance. But you have started your working out because I've been seeing you work out, you know. Mm. But your workout outfit is somewhat too exposing for me. I'm not now going to come and say, because I, Uwa is doing it and I love Uwa. Me too, I go and wear a tank top. Lila, like, you can't try it. Exactly. <laughs> it's not who I am. It's, mm. not, it's not about, oh, I can, I can go and wear like what I'm comfortable in mm -hmm. and I'm still. But you know, some people are so, they don't have any form of identity. Mm. They don't hold on to nothing. You know, they've just been, yes, people all their lives. They don't, they don't. And if you look at it, it's, from, it's probably like a psychological problem from childhood or whatever. Mm. So it, it, it all boils down to knowing who you, you know, are. For the longest let of me, time, mm. I've No, you go on. Okay, let me take a call quickly. Richard from Abuja this time around. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Richard, are you there? Okay, we lost we lost the call. Go ahead, Maury. Yeah, I mean that's just basically it. It, it, it boils down to knowing yourself and mm. knowing like your values and knowing you know what you stand for. You know what are you comfortable with? But some people their lifestyle is to put stuff out there. Like if someone if somebody was a travel vlogger, for instance, you understand, mm. and she traveled and she's posting, you know, what the ocean in Mauritius looks like. That's not showing enough. That's not showing too much of her life. That she, she, by putting that out there, she's, she's working. Mm. You know, but if I were to go to a private island, for so instance... So don't you I don't think this guy family. now coming on social media, it is work he's doing. 
He's trying because he's a relationship expert. So maybe he's trying to tell people that this is how you can deal with even the worst situation in a relationship. Don't you think it is his work he's doing? Yeah, but what, what, what my problem is that he's not sorry. How do you, you know? know? He's not sorry. Okay, so this part of he's not remorseful, he's not sorry. How do you know? You're not in his mind. Now, let me say something here. Yeah, the way. Stupid as that will at least say I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no the way have. no, the way people deal with the, the way people deal with things are completely different. Like the way I would deal with a situation will be completely different from you. And I don't like this thing that you feel I'm that saying, I have to be dramatic. I have to roll on the floor. You know, you're about people. People have this thing a lot. You have to be dramatic. You have to roll on the floor. Ah, Emma That's Binusa, right. Emma saying. Binusa. You know that is not being remorseful because I have seen people do all of those tantrums or whatever and they are the most, they are the much more horrible than the person that just keeps quiet and doesn't say anything, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't think we should put that pressure on him to say, oh, he's not remorseful because of his look or because he's raising his eyebrow or because he's holding her hand tight. I think it's different. People handle um, situations differently. My own point is that how you deal with a, an unhealthy relationship, you know, I think for me, they should have taken a break off of social media. But now you, listening to you, he's a content creator. He works on YouTube. That is his work, you know? Everything he does is online. So maybe this is his way of, you know what, making money off of his pain. I don't know. Let me hear Jennifer. Oh, did we lose Jennifer? Okay, so Maury. <laughs> Maury. Oh, my God. This is an interesting conversation. Eh? Can you hear me, Uwa? Yeah, I can hear you now. So go ahead, Maury. I think we lost Jennifer. Uwa, can you hear me? I can hear you, Jen uh, Maury. Maury, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, I think something is going wrong. Uh, and I can hear her clearly. So if I go back to this question that says, can we possibly assume that social media sl uh, validation slash forgiveness is more important to us than one, we, um, than one we get privately from the ones we hurt or those concerned? <laughs> Maury is singing. She doesn't know she's, I can still hear her. You know, um, the truth is, I think where we are today right now in, uh, in the world, people have moved away from, because... I say this all the time, that before I send you a happy birthday message, right, I would first of all tell, I mean, on social media, I'll probably send you a private chat to say, oh, happy birthday. That's if I am very close to you. But if I'm not close to you, I can go ahead and just do it on social media. But now I think everybody just believes that, oh, I want to be seen to be good. I want to be seen to be the perfect couple. I want to be seen to be this, to be that. And this has also brought its own pressure, right? It has also brought its own pressure to the relationship, uh, what's it called, world. So I don't know how we're going to deal with this situation, but for me, if, you're in a, if you are in an unhealthy relationship, social media is not your best option to take your matter to. Um, I don't know if, I can, if they can hear me now. Maury, can you hear me? Um, Jennifer, can you hear me? If you cannot hear me, I think um, we'll probably just... Um, but I, I hope you learned something today. Um, don't believe everything you see on social media. Sometimes we just do things for the gram, you know. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Now, Waze was birth from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focus on covering unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell all your friends to keep all eyes on Waze. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. This quote is very, very important. A healthy relationship will never require you to sacrifice your friendship, your dreams, or your dignity. I mean, who you are, you remain true to yourself. So I think for me, the first thing to even do before you go into a relationship is find yourself. Know who you are. Know what you can take, what you cannot take. And let it not be that it is the world that is defining your standards for you. You should define your standards, you know. So we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.